Hello, my name's Michael Bass. I'm a product engineer with Clutch Industries. Today I'll be talking about clamp load versus torque capacity within a clutch kit. When choosing a clutch for performance vehicles, we shouldn't only be considering clamp load. Torque capacity is a far more meaningful measure when trying to find a clutch for a performance um, application. So the major difference between clamp load and torque capacity is that clamp load is simply the force um, exerted by the cover assembly onto the clutch plates and pressing that against the flywheel. Whereas torque capacity takes into account a number of other real world factors. These factors include the clamp load, also the mean effective radius at which that clamp load acts, the coefficient of friction and also the number of plates within that clutch setup. And the coefficient of friction can also be highly affected by temperature of that clutch. Clutches have been specified by clamp load by uh, manufacturers over time uh, due to the fact that um, clamp loads are a single figure that can be measured on a static uh, force tester. This seems to be a very easy and quick way of getting a com comparison. However, torque capacity uh, is a dynamic test and therefore you need the equipment which is known as a dynamometer to get torque capacity figures. Yes it is possible to have a lower clamp load and a higher torque capacity due to the other variables within the torque capacity formula which could change the end outcome of a torque capacity. Clamp load is not a relevant measure to the variable of torque capacity.